be another couple weeks before damage from a Sunday fire at WRTA is cleaned up. Smoke from the fire did just as much damage as the fire itself. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti shows us what WRTA is doing to get the service back to normal. The sound of a mini street sweeper fills the bus barn at the Western Reserve Transit Authority's headquarters a day after this space was filled with smoke. Sunday morning, one of dozens of buses parked here caught fire. Although no one was hurt and the sprinkler system helped keep the blaze from spreading, thick smoke was still making it difficult for those who had to ride today. So our bus drivers are going above and beyond by being able to handle that smell all day long, um, and it, it's, it's bad. Directors tell me the flames and heat were so intense in the front of the bus where they believe the fire actually started, it set off a suppression system in the back of the bus meant to protect the engine compartment and the fuel line, as well as setting off the sprinkler system inside the bus barn. The blaze also triggered an automatic alarm for the fire department. When crews arrived, the billowing smoke caused them to request extra manpower, thinking the garage itself was burning. A day later, you can see how the flames melted just about everything in the front of the bus. Although the authorities' other buses are running their normal routes, getting rid of that smoky smell in them will take some time. So we're hiring a company to come in and they'll do a deep scrub, they'll deodorize, they have some kind of deodorizer that can to suck the fumes out. Although insurance investigators will help look for a cause of the fire, we're told it could be another couple weeks before all the buses and the barn are clean. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.